as a business owner, have you noticed a change since the ordinance has been passed? Absolutely not. No, it, it's the ordinance was a, a joke when they put it in place, and it's continued to be a joke since being put in place. Yeah. So, um, did you notice at all when it was first passed if the city was patrolling out here at all, or if there were people actually moving? No, I mean, they might be moving, but they're just shuffling. Like, it's just like, where's Waldo today? They're just shuffling cars and trailers here to this block, to that block. And very few even do that. So they just kind of stay put and it is what it is. Yeah, do yeah. you think there's, a, obviously you do, but do you think that there is a better solution? I mean, would you want to see an ordinance that is less time than 30 days for them to move? Yeah, I mean, just like what we're suing the, the city uh, after is just putting the laws that are currently in place and just following up with that and enforcing those laws that are in place. So if the city just did what's in the rule book, we'd be okay and like people wouldn't be camping on the side of the roads right now. Yeah, can you kind of briefly go over your lawsuit for just a as a reminder to people? Yeah, a um, few other local business owners and myself, we uh, kind of joined together on a lawsuit. Um, and the, the principle of it is just to enforce the laws that are in place. And again, if we did that and the city did that, then we wouldn't have issues that we're kind of, we kind of have right now. And as taxpayers, we wouldn't be paying for urinals outside, dumpsters outside, things like that. And then you just drive by and you have somebody peeing right next to the urinal that's there. So is it being used? It's not even being used. I'm confused by the whole, where's, where's our ta tax money going? It's a joke. Yeah. And um, so I know one of the last interviews you were saying people were trying to come and use your bathroom. And are you, since this ordinance has passed, are you still worried about like the safety of the people that come and use your gym? I mean, your safety coming here, just things like that? Yeah, of course. I'm, I'm always concerned for everybody's safety. And, um, you know, when you see six cop cars last week just pull up on the trailers like right, you know, right here, um, it's alarming. And more so, I'm, I'm concerned for the safety that these these trailers are creeping in closer and closer to Chief Joseph and other schools. And so, yes, I'm concerned for the adults. I'm concerned for everybody in town. I'm more so concerned for our kids and what's being allowed near our schools right now. And it's ridiculous. Yeah. And then one of my last questions for you is I know you were saying the trash cans and the urinals. I mean, have you noticed at all that it, the street is cleaner besides just the campers? Absolutely not. No, it, it, it's almost like a joke to them as well. Like I was just driving down last Thursday, driving down the road, and there's a guy urinating right on the road. And right across from the road, there's a urinal, a porta potty set out by the city with that's set out by our tax dollars. So again, it's all a joke. And then they're going to pack up, go to the next sit, next street over, and leave all their stuff right there. So it's it, it, no, it's not working. Yeah. And where are you guys with the lawsuit? I mean. How long is that process? What? Yeah, so the Supreme Court, this is good. The Supreme Court, as of last Monday, um, started to look at the Grants Pass case. Um, and I think there's a good turn, good chance that that's going to be overruled, and um, which then will kind of give us a lot of pressure on the city with our lawsuit just to enforce everything that's in place and hopefully win. Yeah, and I think that should happen sooner and later within the next couple months. All right. Yeah. Great. Is there anything else you can think of adding just about? I mean, I, you know, it just goes to show, like, if you don't put, like, a lot of discipline in any aspect of, of the common law and rules, or rules around here, uh, it just gets spread way too thin, and it's hard on our police enforcement, it's hard on everybody, it's hard on business owners, house owners, everybody, and it's just, uh, it's not fair. It's not fair what the city's doing to uh, hardworking people in Bozeman right now and paying their taxes, doing the right thing when there's so many scapegoats, you know, and that's paying insurance, that's paying taxes, everything like that. And then you got people just taking free handouts and it's not right.